Binsmere is one of Britain's crowning jewels when it comes to wildlife. With its perfectly balanced ecosystem and impressive array of wildlife, we're truly lucky to have such a beautiful environment to share with nature. But there's a dark cloud on the horizon that's potentially disruptive to the reserve. Size so will see. Minsmere in Suffolk is home to some of our rarest birds, including the bittern, marsh harriers, and the bearded tit, as well as other animals like otters and the awesome red deer. This two and a half thousand acre reserve is a mixture of reed beds, heathland, grassland, and woodland, which are all accessible to everyone to explore. It's always been one of my favorite places to watch, learn, and photograph wildlife since I was a young lad making Minsmere a very special place indeed. The plans for Sizewell C nuclear power station have been proposed by EDF Energy, and if passed, could be built on the southern boundaries of the reserve, right next to Sizewell B. The RSPB who manage the reserve say, if the project isn't handled correctly, it could be catastrophic for the wildlife here at Minsmere, including increasing erosion, changes to the ecosystem and even threatening the overall future of the reserve. And nobody wants to see that. So, what do you get if you cross thousands of wildlife lovers and environmentalists with a nuclear power station? We're here today, along with thousands of other Minsmere supporters, to celebrate the reserve and show support for the very first Love Minsmere Festival. It's an opportunity to show EDF Energy just how much we care about this beautiful environment and the wildlife within. It really is an amazing turnout. And what awesome weather. It's got to be a sign, surely. The organisers have done an outstanding job and the campaign looks to be a success. From young to old, from amateur to professional, even the celebrities are getting involved. The love for this place, this Eden, is truly awesome. Hopefully EDF get the message, but just in case they don't. I love Ben's And so do we. If you've never been to Ben's let me give you a quick tour. You'll enter the reserve along Sheepwash Lane, which will then bring you to the car park, which is free to park from 9am to 5pm. Once you're parked, head on down to the visitor centre, where they have some great information on the front desk, you grab a bite to eat and do a little shopping. We head east to the North Wall, where, if you're lucky, you could spot a bearded tit in the reed beds or a rare glimpse of a stone curlew on the heathland. Following the path to the sea wall, we get the opportunity to catch a glimpse of the Dartford warbler in the heather, sandwich turns on the hunt, or even a passing gannet out at sea. We now walk northwest through the vast reed beds to visit the wildlife lookout and South Hyde overlooking the scrapes here at Minsmere. There are many awesome bird species, including avocets, ruff, and little egrets. Still heading north, we get into the Bitten Hyde, 
where you're lifted above the reed beds in hope of seeing, or maybe hearing, the boom of an elusive bit. Heading west now, we get to the awesome island Mirhide, which is perfect for spotting marsh hares, or possibly one of the many otters here on the reserve. And lastly, we're going north. We're heading into the woodland, where there's plenty of bird life, including woodpeckers and nuthatches. And if you're really lucky, you might catch a glimpse of the mighty red deer. In January 2020, if the development consent order is passed, there'll be a six months examination process by the planning inspectorate, where people like you and me will be able to express our opinions in writing and voice at organised public meetings. Keep your eyes open for further details on the RSPB Minsmere website.